वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज एक्जियल लोड एंड द बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द रिलेटिव डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ वन एंड ऑफ द टेपर्ड प्लेट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अदर एंड वेन इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एक्जियल लोडिंग सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द टेपर्ड प्लेन प्लेट clear and that is acted upon by axial loading so you have to determine the elongation of one end with respect to this end so you, what you have to find you have to find the displacement so let's start with the solution so first we will draw the front view of this tapered plate so if i draw it like this so it will be like this let me draw it first and then we will discuss you can see this diameter this width is d1 so we will write it as d1 and the upward is d2 so this distance is d2 total height is h so we will write it as h now if i draw a vertical line from this end perpendicular line and similarly this perpendicular line from this end so you can see that this distance will be same which is d1 and this remaining distance this distance and this distance will be equal to you can see that total is d2 so if you subtract d1 from d2 so you will get d2 minus d1 which will be this distance and this distance so if you divide it by 2 so this one distance will be d2 minus d1 divided by 2 so i will write d2 minus d1 divided by 2 and this distance will be also d2 minus d1 divided by 2 2 okay now you can see here width is d1 and here width is d2 so at each along this length which is let x so you can see that width is changing so we will find the function for width so this function w will be equal to you can see let this is the w let at this length this is w or a height of x x varies from this so here you can see that this w is equal to d1 plus i will write d1 d1 plus d2 minus d1 which will be this remaining distance this distance plus this distance so first write me it w is equal to d1 plus d2 minus d1 into x by l because x by h sorry okay so you can see that here at a distance of x we have this width is equal to d1 plus d2 minus d1 into x by h for whole h it is d2 and for x at a length of our height of x each it will be h by x so what we will do that if you put for x is equal to 0 it means that at this point you can see at this point so if you put this so this term will be equal to 0 and you can see w will be equal to d1 this is to check whether we have find out the correct weight function or not now for x is equal to for x is equal to h so when you put x is equal to h in this formula so this will be cut with this and this will be d1 will cut with this so w will be equal to d2 so w is equal to d2 and h is at this you can see here the d width is equal to d2 it means that this function is correct now we know that uh, elongation or deformation Uh, for this tapered portion will be equal to p into x into length which is dx for smaller length dx into ax into e for length of or the length of 0 to h so h 0 is at this point and h is at this point so what we will do is that you have to put the value 
so integral of 0 to h p is given as p p into dx divided by a x into e so what we will do is that we will take out p and e constants so it will be taken out of the integral so we will left with 0 into 0 to h dx divided by ax now you can see that uh, this area of tapered portion at every section changes so it it will be equal to w into thickness which is t so i will write it p divided by e into integral of 0 to h dx divided by w and w is e w into t so what we will do is that we will put the value of w in that um, so you will get 0 to h dx divided by w is d1 plus d2 minus d1 divided by h into x multiplied by t okay so what we will do is that we will take t out of this integral so you will get p divided by e into t is 0 to h dx divided by d1 plus d2 minus d1 into x divided by h and if you further simplify it will be equal to p divided by e into t integral of 0 to h dx if you take the lcm so it will be h d1 into h plus d2 minus d1 into x okay so again take h out of the integral so you will get this deflection will be equal to p into h divided by e into t and we will left with integral of 0 to h dx divided by d1 into h plus d2 minus d1 into x now divide divide numerator and denominator numerator and denominator by d1 into h so what we will get is that deflection is equal to p into h divided by e into t and integral of 0 to h it will be equal to dx divided by d1 into h divided by d1 into h plus d2 minus d1 into x divided by d1 into h so we will get this p into h divided by e into t into d1 h and left with integral of 0 to h 1 or dx by 1 plus d2 minus d1 divided by d1 h into x now this integral we have to find out this integral so from mathematics we know that we have formula for like this uh, that if we have integral of dx divided by a into x plus b and integral start from 0 to h so it will be equal to 1 over a into ln of a divided by b into h plus 1 so this is the general formula now we will equate it with this so you can see that uh, here let this is b plus this d2 minus d1 over d1 h is equal to a so this formula will be equal to dx divided by ax plus b which is the same so what we will do is that we will get this deflection is equal to p into h divided by e t d1 into h and this whole term this term we will write it in term of this and that will be equal to 1 over a so a you can see a is equal to d2 minus d1 divided by d1 into h and b is equal to 1 so 1 over a so 1 over 
d2 minus d1 divided by d1 into h clear into ln of a by b so a is d2 minus d1 divided by d1 into h divided by b b is equal to 1 so we in multiply by with this h plus 1 okay so if you further simplify it you will get deflection is equal to p into h multiply by d1 into h divided by e t d1 into h into d2 minus d1 into ln of this h will cut with this clear so we will left with the d2 minus d1 divided by d1 plus 1 okay so this d1h will cut with this so we will left with deflection will be equal to p into h divided by e into t into d2 minus d1 and into ln of this will be equal to d2 over d1 minus d1 over d1 plus 1 so if you further simplify it you will get this deflection will be equal to p into h divided by e into t d2 minus d1 into ln of this will be equal to d2 over d1 minus 1 plus 1 this minus 1 plus 1 will cancel each other so we will get ph divided by et into d2 minus d1 into ln of d2 minus d1 so at last we will get this deflection is equal to ph divided by e into t into d2 minus d1 into ln of d2 minus d2 over d1 and this is the value of deflection of one end with respect to another end now if you know the value of total height you have p you have the material you will get the modulus of elasticity you have thickness larger weight and smaller weight so you can just put in this value so you will get the total uh, total relative displacement of one end of taper plate with respect to another and that was all about this problem 4-24 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching